see what the Monarchs are going to do offensively and what Danville's going to do defensively. Rubio with the basketball for the Monarchs. One-on-one -on -one with Williams. To the basket. And a blocking oh, foul. Oh, oh. So Ooh. the basket's going to count. And oh, they get wow. a chance to extend the lead. Huge call right there. So Rubio gets the bucket. So his 14th point gives the Monarchs a 68-67 lead. And he has a chance to give him a two-point lead if he can drop this free throw. Yeah, this is going to be a biggest free throw so far of Rubio's life right here. And he struggled from the line. He hits that one, and it's nothing but net. Danville does have a timeout left. 14.8 seconds left. And there's the final timeout going to be called by Coach Gerard. 11 point and a half seconds left to go. The whole season has come down to this for both teams. So now Danville has to take it, make a decision. Play for two to go to a double overtime or try to get maybe Arnold, maybe Weston open for a three to try to win it. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I would practice and you know is going to work in this situation. Doesn't matter if it's a two or three. Just go for the best shot because uh, your team has answered the bell. So if they got to go to another overtime, I, I feel like he's got the confidence in his guys to answer that bell one more time. 69-67. McComb, the eight seed, with a two-point lead over the four seed in Danville Area Community College. Again, Danville, the highest seed left in this tournament that has a chance to win the national championship. Danville, a four seed. McComb, an eight seed. In our next game, Orange County, six seed. Milwaukee Area Tech, seven seed. Kind of interesting looking at uh, the team that Coach Gerard has lined up. Going to be uh, subbing in, it looks like. Uh, that's uh, Cattle for the first time, or Cadell for the first time all game. So Makes you wonder if they're, if they, they, got, they maybe. Got to play for him well, or something. Well, I mean, he's a pretty good three-point shooter, so we'll see if they try to run a play to get him a three-point shot or maybe he's a distraction to try to get a layup to tie it. The ball comes into Arnold. 10 seconds left. Danville trails by two. Arnold between the legs. Looks. Loses the basketball. Kicks it out. Pass. Cadell for three. It is in and oh, out. No, no good. And that's the ball game. The Monarchs go to the championship. Oh, man. That was a good, good look at the three-point line. So the Jaguars come up short with a three at the end of the game. That's a great, great, great shot job by McComb. Staying focused, getting a big win. And uh, Danville, unfortunately, ends their season, but they should not be hanging their heads on that one. Absolutely not. What a hard-fought game for both teams. You know, it's one of those, you know, cliched, shame somebody's got to lose. Yeah, it's. It, I was talking about that in the first game. It just sucks that one team has to lose, and unfortunately it was uh, Danville this time.